Hello there, everybody. Welcome in. Very nice to see all of you. How are you all doing? You're gonna have to forgive me. I'm not really used to everybody's names over here and all that type of stuff, but it's nice to meet all of you. What up, everything bagel? How you doing? Keemar, Andres, Knight Rider, welcome in. YouTube stream, how's it going, man? Yeah, we're going to be streaming on YouTube today. It's very nice to see all of you, as per usual. We will be doing Zomboids as well. Give me just one moment, and I can put on my webcam, and we can kind of talk over everything. Perfect. Team, welcome in. Nice to see all of you. Tonight, we are going to be doing some Project Zomboid. We are going to be playing a challenge. We are going to be trying to survive the prison. Starting off and spawning in the prison. Which is probably not going to be very easy, if I, if I had to guess. Uh, we're going to be a prisoner. It's going to be tough. We're going to have no gear. Very few skills to our name and all of that. And to make matters worse, there will be an alarm going off. Everything will go terrible. But it'll be fine. Because in the end, Zomboids is all about things going wrong. That's perfect. That's the whole point. Are the rules the same as normal Zomboids? Pretty much. Basically. Happy New Year to you as well, Thomas. Gobsmacked. Welcome in YouTube stream. Indeed, team. Indeed. Thank you very much for the sub, by the way. Base Canadian. I appreciate that. You are my new favorite YouTube subscriber. We appreciate that immensely. Let me move this over here, by the way. I can have that full screen and everything. Thanks for all the likes. By the way, since we're on YouTube team, helps me out a ton. If you like the stream, please and thank you. If you enjoy the stream, like it. If you're new here, subscribe. I appreciate that. We are getting extremely close to 90,000 YouTube subscribers, which means we are getting extremely close to 100,000 YouTube subscribers, which is an unreal amount to think of. Of course I remember you, Ozone. I remember you as well, Wolf. Welcome in. What's the mod name? We're using a combination of multiple mods for this. Let me pull up the game really quick and I'll show you guys. I'll demonstrate it all to you, team. I will show you everything. If OBS... There we go. If OBS wants to cooperate. So, prison challenge. We're using a combination of a couple mods to accomplish this. The first mod we're using is... Uh, and I tested a bunch of this, by the way. It is Start As Prisoner. This mod will spawn us in the prison, but then we're also using unlock security doors to make it so that I can actually leave the prison. Because if you don't have this mod enabled, all the doors are just locked and there's nothing you can do about that. I kind of thought about spawning with a sledgehammer, but that didn't really feel like it was right. I don't know. It felt kind of weird to do that. Um, we're also using one other mod, Wolf Custom Starting Conditions. What this mod allows us to do is a couple things. And I'll show you that when we get into actual sandbox settings. For the sandbox setting tonight, by the way, team. By the way, Ken, thanks for the sub. I appreciate that you're my new favorite sub. Thanks for all the reactions, all the likes, team. I appreciate all of you. Hope you're having a good night. Downloaded Freddy Zomboid PC because of you. Thank you, man. I appreciate that. I hope you enjoy the game. Beaver, what a mic. Beaver stream, let's go. Welcome in, everybody. Welcome in. It's very nice to meet all of you. But like I said, prison challenge, team. So, obviously, we're going to be starting as prisoner. I already kind of set up this beforehand. I'm very smart. I like to plan ahead. 200 IQ moves, all right? I'm like a chess grandmaster or whatever they're called. What do you call them in chess when you're, like, really good? They're, like, masters, right? GMs? I don't know. Might as well sub here, too. If you want, Mike, I appreciate it, of course. Lost my longest run on Zomboid. Oh, no. What do I do? I mean, you, you dust yourself off and restart. That's what you have to do. This new Twitch looks weird. We're not on <laughs> We're not on Twitch tonight. We're on YouTube. We love YouTube. We sure do. We sure do, team. But we're playing on I should probably put that uh, What do you guys think? High or very high population? Very high or high? What do you guys think? I don't know anymore. Very high or high? Oh my god. Mike. Thank you very much for becoming a member, man. I appreciate that immensely. Wait, you are my very first YouTube member, Mike. 
Very high? Okay, we're playing. Everybody's saying very high. Thank you so much for the sub as well. I appreciate that. We're playing very high, team. Mike, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be fully real. I have never had a YouTube member before. Mike, you are my very first YouTube member. This happened on stream. You you deserve a gold star. I don't have one, but you can pretend you have a sip of the Baja Blast. Alright, there you go. Good evening, Butter Bunny. How are you doing? Um, so here the settings, population very high. Uh, everything else, a default apocalypse. The only thing I did change is if we go down to loot rarity, I set it down way lower. Uh, so we have extremely rare across everything. I like to let literature and other stuff be normal because I feel like it just adds, like, it adds clutter to the map. It makes it feel, like, more realistic to me because in, real in, yeah, in reality, you would probably find, if you were in a zombie apocalypse, a bunch of garbage laid around just, like, remaining from what other people looted. So that's what we're going with. Uh, all clothing unlocked so I can get a prisoner suit. Everything else is fine. However, in the Wolf Custom Starting Conditions mod, we have start with the building alarm active because the Zomboids, they have broken out of their cage, all right? Uh, it's been breached. We've suffered severe casualties. We're also starting with zombies inside the building because we want this to be torturous team. So uh, let me just make sure if I... I don't know if I made a change or not. We have a setup as well for the tonight. Uh, high thirst, noodle legs, just for to be funny. So when I start sprinting or running, we have the chance to trip and die horribly. Slow healer, self-destructive, and unlucky are our negative traits. We are going unemployed with dexterous, lead foot, quiet, quick rest, baseball player, fit, grave robber, and pack mule. These are modded. Some of these come from the more traits mod, which I absolutely love, team. That's a great mod if you don't use it. Which, by the way, if you don't know, exclamation point mods in chat is a command which will let you... Um, see my normal mod list so you can do that butter let me make you a mod by the way real quick i thought you were a mod already but i thought i gave that to you but i don't know l smoker i do like smoker honestly i do think it's free points but for this specific scenario we're not going to use it oh is nightbot not working okay i might have lied to all of you i thought i had nightbot working i can't fix that right now i don't know i can't do that Oh my gosh, thank you, Alan, for the follow as well, or the sub. I don't know what they're called. I don't know. We need gambling. Unfortunately, we can't gamble on YouTube, team, but that's okay, because we're going to have fun regardless. Let me let you all in on a little deep lore here, team. All right, I do have a character setup as well. We have Marco G, team. Please, everybody say a nice hello to our friend Marco G. He's a wonderful young man. However, he is a criminal. He was sentenced to 74 years in prison for the horrific crime of loitering. He stood around in the parking lot of a Denny's for too long. Can't do that. That's illegal. That right away, straight to jail. Honestly, he should be proud he didn't get the death sentence. All right, that would have been real bad. Uh, but yeah, Marco G team, we're going to see how it fares for him in the Zomboid apocalypse. Hopefully everything will be fine. Uh, loitering is serious, but uh, you know, I don't know. Should have gotten the lock pit mod. I think I tried that a while ago and it didn't work. I think I have a mod incompatibility with some of my normal mods, but I don't know. We'll see. We're just going to go with this for now. If, if I want to, I can come back to this another time. We can try this again, team. Let's give it a shot, though. Best of luck. Godspeed, Marco. All right. Hopefully we do not die in a horrific death. No hope of survival. Hopefully that's not the case with our boy Marco. All right. Exactly. Don't do the crime if you can't do the time. We stole a balloon! <laughs> oh, we're in. Okay, wonderful. How lovely. Great start to our day. Is the door unlocked for Marco? Beautiful. Love that. All right, let's go check real quick in here. Cereal. I love cereal. Empty mug. Sure, we are high thirst. We need to keep that in mind. Um, well, this is wonderful. Ooh, this guy. I can rip up his clothes, maybe. Rip up the socks. There we go. Rip up all of those. Get some nice sheets just in case anything goes wrong, team. We have no idea how things... Sounds like a lot of... What was that? Oh my god! Okay. That's fine. We're very high population, team. Is this gonna be a problem? Wait a minute. We're down. Wait, we need to go up. Wait, we need to go up. Hold on. It's like Mob of the Dead. It's like Call of Duty Mob of the Dead. Excuse me. Excuse me. Thank you. Uh, excuse me. Excuse me. Thank you. I'm just gonna go this way. The alarm is already off. The Zomboids have turned it off. They know how to turn it off, dear god. Just run. Where's the exit? Where am I? Oh my god. Oh my god. Wait, this is the wrong way. I have to go. No, Marco, don't trip. You can't be doing that, Marco. I know you have noodle legs. All right. You can't be scaring me like this. 
We have to go this way. I completely forgot. It's this type of way. I thought we were on the ob uh, the opposite side of the thing. Excuse me. Thank you. Excuse me. Oh my god, you have a sledgehammer though. Or not a sledge. You have a screwdriver. Stay away. Stay away. Stop. Stop. Thank you. Screwdriver. Thank you. That'll be valuable. Let's go. This is bad. It's not that bad so far. It's fine. It's okay. It's all right. Screwdriver. Primary. Attach it to the belt. Perfect. Now we have a weapon team. It's like Black Ops. Secure the keys. Rain fire. How many more Zomboids are there, though? Oh, no. We can't. Hold on. Wait, wait, wait. I just realized. I, I need my aiming cursor. Yes. I need to be able to see what I'm doing. That was my biggest mistake. I don't like... I, Marco! Marco! Are you infected? Did you just get hurt? Oh, Marco. What are we doing, Marco? At least that wasn't a bite. Was that caught? Was Did we have this beforehand? I don't even know anymore. I don't even know anymore. Nuggets! Thank you so much for becoming a member on YouTube. The second ever member on the channel. Helps me out a ton. I appreciate that. Don't fret, I'm here. One-man army, it's great to see you! Uh, yeah, I think we're streaming a 1080p team. So if you're not seeing 1080p, I am apologizing profusely. Unfortunately, you should be getting 1080p. Um, I don't think I can fight the- well, what's in here? Is this good for me? Oh, this is the medical area. Maybe we can get some bandages real quick. That's not a problem. Did we get some bandages? Oh, beta blockers. That'll be big for us. You are unemployed. You get pan- no, I don't need you. Excuse me. We do get panicked quite significantly. Quite quickly, in fact. I'll let them keep banging. This'll be fine for me. Um... Yeah, I'm gonna check for bandages. I think that's important right now. Yep, there we go. Thank you. I'll take painkillers, too. I need a little water. Fill up the mug. High thirst is annoying to deal with, team. Um, did they already... Oh. They already... They already... Okay. Well, it's just one, so that's not a problem. But when there's one, there's two. They're like cockroaches, team. 1080p is on. Let's go. Random, what's going on? Oh, I don't like that. Hold... Excuse me. Excuse me, madam. Oh, the screwdriver is terrible. Oh, no, we're doing three? Three is a party. Three is a crowd, actually. I messed up the, the thing. Mike has redeemed a queue. There you go. You may have one queue for free. Only because you are the very first member on the channel. thought that was butter for a second. My eyesight is terrible, though. Yeah, I think we're fine, honestly. I don't think this is that bad. We can go to the armory, too. Guys, wait. We could go to the armory. That actually might be real big. Always want to tap up. Yeah, my mug is already empty, dude. Take some painkillers while we're at it. Get ourselves figured out. Excuse me. Yeah, you thought. On the ground with you. In fact, embarrass him. Oh my god, that's embarrassing. Why no Twitch stream? We're just live on YouTube tonight. Every once in a while, I like experimenting with streaming on other platforms. Um, I love Twitch. I, if you guys don't know, I actually stream on Twitch every Monday through Thursday, 9.30 p.m. Eastern. If you guys would like to go tune in to the stream, you're more than welcome to. But um, I like experimenting with other platforms. And, you know, YouTube is a great... I want to take YouTube a lot more serious. I have a lot of long-form content planned in the near future. And uh, I figured, why not? Why not juke them around the surgery table? I mean, I could have done that. But why take that risk, you know? Why take that risk? I wish I had a flashlight, too. I don't know. I wish I had a couple things, team. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, this is fine. I have to go downstairs, though. I wonder how the downstairs is right now. I think that might be our biggest... Oh, sorry. She did not like that. She did not appreciate that at all. Hold on. Oh, you have a, I already have a watch. It's 11 in the morning. We're fine. I would ideally, if we can, like to escape the prison no later. Okay, see, that's that's a problem. Don't love that. Because when you see them on the little tippy top of the staircase like that, you know there's 20 more at the bottom. I don't like that you're doing that either. Don't. Okay, Marco, you're scaring me. That's scaring me as well. Through this little tiny hallway. Perfect. Per excuse me. Coming through. Oh, dear. Oh, my God. I'm free. I'm free. I'm saved. Oh, wait. That was so easy. 
Wait, we might have, we, we have to bump that up to insane pop then, no? That was insanely easy. I do want to go loot, uh, what is it called though? I want to go check out the armory. That's crazy. Marco is free from Predal Prison. He escaped, team. And that's not even that many. Like, if we're going to break this down, if we're going to be real about it, that is not a ton of Zomboids. This is not the worst serious, like, issue we've had ever. We've seen a bigger crowd of Zomboids, team. The doobies little creatures, they get up into mischief frequently. Oh my gosh. Wait. Okay. No. If we can get a lighter, we have secured the foundation to freedom. Forever. Forever. Did we get the glasses? No, we got the glasses. Don't worry. We got those glasses, team. <laughs> yippee! I'm imagining every time I hear the word yippee now, I imagine the loot bugs from Lethal Company. Have you guys played Lethal Company? Because that game is so much fun. Yeah, if I can get a lighter, we're chilling. Did the glove box have a lighter? Let me double check really quick. I think it had a lighter. No, it did not. Okay, I lied to you. I should take the leather gloves, though. Just really quick. Thank you. Time to make an exit. Oh my god. <laughs> I know exactly what game you're talking about, Hitman. I haven't played Hitman in forever, though, too. I don't know. Lethal Company is very fun. Um, No lighters, though. Really? I saw matches, but I can't really... Oh! Huge. Okay, if that has fuel, we're chilling. Like, we're out. A news van. What's in here? Do we get a lighter? Hmm. We get annotated map and rosewood map, so we'll take both of those. I like that this guy doesn't go to the window, though. That's really significant for me. That helps out a ton. I'll go check this van. And then if that doesn't have lighter, I think maybe we just come back to the armory. Oh, dear. Door is broken. Oh, no. This was not at all terrible. Escaping prison was extremely easy. Now, sure, the doors were unlocked. I don't know. I was expecting escaping federal prison would have been a much more significant and arduous task at hand. Break the window. If I use my elbow... Oh, dear God. Oh, no. You can't do this, Marco. Marco, check for few... Marco! No, pick those back up. You are bleeding, buddy. What happened? Oh my god. Marco! What are you doing? What? No, Marco. You're trolling right now, Marco, right? This is a joke. This is a comedy, right? Marco, we were about to be free. And you're gonna trip and hurt your foot like that. How did you even injure your foot? Oh my god. I have to make it through the window. Hold on. Oh no, there's... I didn't clear out the glass, though. Um, do I have time, you think? Oh my... <laughs> I can't... Marco! I just wanted to... No, Marco! There... Oh, no, you know how to do a little... Oh, Marco. Oh, Marco. Marco. Marco, the dubious little creatures, they are hungry. I think it's time. Eat from me. Eat from me. Alright, well, Marco may have escaped federal custody, but he cannot escape the Zomboids at the end of the day. We're gonna go again. I'm gonna reset up the world. We're gonna start fresh. I might, bu uh, I might bump the, the population settings. I feel like that was too easy, no? That was too easy, no? Or am I crazy? I would be voting no. <laughs> if we just got a lighter, I would have been happy. I wanted to check the taxi for fuel before we got in and drove away. I would have been fine. But we didn't end up getting that, unfortunately. Good work, 47. Excellent work. Add sprinters? Oh my god, we die. Why don't we give that a shot then? Hold on. I will add customizable zombies, and it'll be a 1% chance for sprinters. I won't do anything further, though. I will not torture myself like that. 
Let me go prison. We'll go insane pop. Where is my customizable zombies? Is that in, uh, oh, is that in mod options? That might be in mod options. I have to keep this like that. I think I have to adjust that when we get into the game, no? I don't know. Yeah, we definitely slipped by them. I need to gamble my life savings. Unfortunately, we can't do that here on YouTube. But you know what we can do on YouTube? We can like and subscribe, team. Just like this little button right here says. Please do that. We're trying to hit 90,000 subs. I would appreciate that greatly. Anyways, continue. Marco again. This time, we'll get out and we'll be free. You have a helicopter waiting for you. It's going to take you across the Mexican border. All right? The government will never find you. I promise that. I promise you. Hopefully, when we load in, by the way, the very first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go into my options menu and check that the sprinters are not crazy. Do you think you'll do a Leave a Company playthrough with fans using the More Company mod? I think we'll plan that out at some point. If you guys want to join the Discord, I know that's something people have been talking about. Um, okay, let's calm that down. Yeah, customizable zombies. I want... That's fine. Number of crawlers, that's fine with me. So that would be seven. I don't want any slow shamblers, though. That's my thing. Oh, god damn it. Where's my little UI button? There we are. Yeah, we want no... Oh, wait. <laughs> what is seven? No, what is eight? Okay, that would be 92. That'd be 92. We want 92% chance, and then we get rid of shamblers. Perfect. All right. Apply 1%. 94%, 5, wait, 94? No, that needs to be 92. There we go. Okay, that looks right to me. No. What? Okay, that looks right to me. Is this correct? Set sprinters lower. 1% is already going to be pretty low, I think. Ever play RimWorld? I have? I want to go back to that. It's actually been a, almost like a year since I played RimWorld, to be honest. I think that's good, though. Let's give it a shot, team. Marco, it's your time to shine. A spoon. What if we turn that into, I don't know, a shank, perhaps? All right, which side are we on this time? Okay, we have to go that way. Looks like these guys are just hanging out. Yep, don't mind me. Just going to walk myself out of prison here. Just enjoying freedom. The taste of splendor. The taste of... Being able to do whatever I want. It's beautiful. Is there anybody on this door? No, there's not. You good? Don't mind me then. I won't bother you. Oh my god, I'm bothering you now. I'm bothering you now. I'm bothering you now. On the ground. Thanks for the vitamins. Let me uh, grab you. And you... And just be thrown out there. Not in my little room. Not at all. Dare you to try run one, uh, one run with all sprinters. Well, so far we haven't even come across a single zomboid that's been a threat. So I think everything's fine with prison. Oh, well, I opened my mouth too soon, huh? Excuse me. Maybe I can even take off my clothes. The cops don't think I'm one of them. Thanks for the antidepressants. Thanks for the canned sardines. Excuse me. Not yours. Oh, that was Todd. I knew him forever. Poor Todd. I apologize, buddy. I had to put you down. You weren't thinking straight. Marco's not a murderer, but he will protect his life with everything he has. Okay. Ripped sheets. We're chilling. I'm going to open up these sardines right away. Oh, is this already broken down? The medical center would actually be huge to loot first, like way early. Water bottles. A high thirst user's best friend. Oh, so many water bottles. Let's go. Let me take those. We're chilling. Oh my god. Oh, we are so good, team. We're ready to leave. We're escape. I love your videos. What do you think of Buckshot Roulette? I actually loved the game. I wish it was longer. There's unfortunately not a lot of content in that game. It's kind of just like... You have... Like... Three rounds, and that's like it. I played through it like a couple times. Had fun each time, but unfortunately there's just nothing else to do after a certain point. Um, all right, let's head down. Oh, hey there, buddy. You good? Yeah. We're all right. I think I go this way, right? To escape? 
Or was it the other way? I think it may have been the other way. Oh, dear. Oh, but maybe this takes us to the armory. I don't know. Oh, dear. Oh, God. You just appear. No. Run, Marco. Run, Marco. Oh. You are a slippery little snake, Marco. Slippery. Oh, my God. Dodge and weave. Duck. Dodge. Dive. Dip. Dodge. Marco. Yes. Yes. Freedom. <laughs> Marco is him. Marco is him. Marco's him. Oh my god. Car, give me a key and we're out. No, we don't get a key. Okay, that's not a problem. What about you? Car? There's absolutely zero way that happens to me. I don't know. We just get that lucky. I don't... Marco is him. I'm telling you. Marco is that good. I do want to try and go back in there to get the, the armory stuff, but I don't know. In? Oh my god, they're all locked. Am I hurt? What happened? Oh, did we hurt ourselves when we fell? No, we're fine. Wait, we're completely fine. How many are chasing me, by the way? Is it just a couple? Oh, it is more than a couple. It is way more than a couple. Uh, I mean, we can try... We can give the spoon a shot. I'll give it an opportunity to, to show itself and the, the power it holds. Okay, well, you know, I... You can't say I didn't give it an opportunity. You can't say I didn't try. That's fine. That is okay with me. We will just walk. We'll go on a nice little whimsical walk throughout our, our time. Excuse me. What is that guy doing? Oh, he's not okay. I don't know what he's doing. He's laying down in the grass or something. So far, no sprinters either, which is great. Big fan of that. No one's tried to, like, run up on us, but that's okay. Um, yeah, all these cars are, are not going to work for us, sadly. I guess we can go loot the police station. I mean, that's fine. We can go check out the fire station, too. Other opportunities. We'll leave this area and head this direction. We'll be fine. Deploy the sprinters. Please, God, don't. Had to switch stream to the phone. All good. Are we winning, son? We are kind of winning, Jedi. Somewhat. We're like... Sort of winning. Survival is winning in the end, team. That's all that matters. Streaming on the YouTube? Indeed, Doc. How are you doing today? Welcome in. I was telling uh, people earlier, I want to take YouTube a lot more serious. Uh, I know there's a whole audience on my YouTube channel that doesn't really go to Twitch or anything like that. Even though that's kind of my hub, which by the way, if you're not already... Please go follow this. Don't do that, Marco. I'm... Oh, Marco, you did not just do this to me, right? All right. This is why I wasn't running, by the way, because Marco doesn't seem to like to... Uh... Oh, we're, we're in significant risk of a sprinter attack. If I can get to that fence, we might be fine, though. Hold on. Do not trip on the way to the, sp the, the fence, and we're fine. We win the game. Okay, thank you, Marco. Apply? Oh, are you on the right side of the fence? Okay. Didn't love that, Marco, but that's fine. Let's just get out of here. Hello there, Farmer Joe. Don't mind me. Continue. Oh, Marco, what are you doing? Thought I could super walk for a second. That's fine. Marco is donezo. No, Marco is, Marco is a live team. And hopefully, since we're walking on the farmlands, if he does trip, it's just going to be like a minor little bruise. Not a big deal. All right. Stress level? Um, Not significant at all. This is a normal Tuesday for me, guys. Alright, the dubious little creatures? You can call me a scientist or some shit. Alright? Call me Zoppenheimer, alright? Because I'd be investigating these zomboids on a day-to-day -day basis. If I could play the Oppenheimer music now without getting DMCA'd, I would. Um, we got a couple more farmers over here. Are we... We're at the fire. This is the police station up ahead. We just kind of, excuse me, just bypass you. We'll be fine. Albert Eidson. <laughs> I don't know if that one worked, but okay. Marco's 100% surviving this. Are you willing to wager that? Oh boy. Imagine if we had the channel points. Yep, there's the fence. Okay, if we climb this fence, is that guy sleeping? He's sleeping, right? Yeah, he's sleeping. Thanks for the screwdriver, everybody. I needed that. That's big. All right, climb. All right, what are you guys going to do now? Oh, yeah. Yeah. I love this. My favorite thing in all of Zomboids. Oh, my God! You were awake the whole time! 
<laughs> oh my god. No, they just did a ritual, bro. I swear to god. They just revived her. Holy shit. That's hilarious. Oh, hi there. On the ground, buddy. Thank you. My favorite thing in this game, though, is whenever you're being chased by Zomboids and you climb a fence, if they don't know what to do, they just stand there shaking their heads. I, 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 no, you're kidding me, Marco. Oh my god, Marco, you're kidding me. Yeah, I'm drinking. I'm drinking. How does how does that happen? How does that how does that even occur? I don't understand. Whatever. I'm not letting you eat me. Absolutely not. I'm putting you down. If there's anybody I want to go out to, it's the person who gave me the screwdriver. It's you. Grandma mama mama. Oh no no no. All right, Marco, I only wanted you to feed one zomboid. But you know what? Since we're going out this way, might as well get the biggest group we possibly... Marco, you scare me so dear. Alright, you know what, Marco? You are gonna be a nice Thanksgiving dinner meal. Alright? You are going to feed everybody here. Alright? Perfect. Perfect. That's how this game goes, for sure, Kanji. Yep, we, we, we do the impossible, and then I go to rotate my character towards the Zomboid to push it away. Doesn't do that. That's tough. Thank you so much, uh, ever, for the f sub on YouTube, by the way. You are my new favorite sub. Helps me out a ton. Run it back, I guess. Should have cut it off. I don't have that mod. I, okay, I am somebody who doesn't like playing with mods like that. I love Product Zomboid, but one of my favorite things about Product Zomboid has to be the fact that one Zomboid can end your entire run. I love that feeling. And I don't like the idea uh, that you can undo that. So I always play with all of the virus transmission settings. I always play with, if you get bit, you're done for. There's nothing you can do. If you get bit, game over. Like, I, I don't like mods that change that. The only... Exception I'll say to that is the only cure mod, which is the one that lets you cut your hand off, but I only do that for roleplay purposes on like very rare occasions. Even then, I'd rather like I would rather just reset my entire character than have to play with like a missing arm or a leg or whatever. Like that just annoys me. I don't know. But team, we're back. Thank you, by the way, Spicy, for becoming a member. Third member to the channel. I appreciate that significantly. That's very, very, very kind of you. Thank you very much to everybody who's become a member tonight. I hope to do more YouTube stuff in the future. Thank you so much. Uh, he, he, for the sub as well. You are the new favorite sub. Um, everything should be right. Yeah, everything should be fine. Marco, let's hope this time we don't screw it up. Yeah, like, we were out. We were free. Everything was fine, Marco. We had a good thing going, and you had to mess it up. You with your pride and your ego. Oh my gosh. Mic going crazy right now? Is there something with the mic? Audio is cutting in and out. Is this... Is everybody getting that issue, or is... I don't know, is that is? Opinion on scratch and laceration infection? I like it. I think it's good. Can I suggest you play RimWorld? I have played RimWorld before. I'm a fan of it. I think it's the type of thing I would do more videos than streams on, but I do want to get back into it. Mike is fine on my end? Okay, I'm going to assume it's like a random... Oh, okay. I'm going to assume it's just a minor glitch team. Oh my god! Look at that guy getting a nice little meal over there. I'm trying to be like him one day. No care in the world whatsoever. Just eating his food and minding his own business. That's the type of zomboid I like. Don't mind me, guys. Just going to break out of prison. Yep, just gonna just gonna leave prison. Actually, I might want to check some of these cells for loot. A toy bear, my favorite. 
I love the toy bears. I love collecting the plushies. Empty mug. Lighter. We could have used that in our first attempt. Excuse me. Don't. Don't do this to me, Marco. Don't, Marco. Give me a push. Marco, where's my push? Thank- Oh, Marco! Oh, Marco. Oh, God, Marco. The sprinter. Are we good? Is he coming? Oh, my God. Look at him run. I don't know. Oh, no. Oh, my God. Thank you for the push, Marco. Okay. Oh, my God. That is terrifying. Why is Marco in the prison in the first place? Loitering team. 78 years in prison for loitering. Should have been given the death penalty, in my opinion. But, you know, the judge showed mercy for some reason. I don't know. I don't know, team. That's kind of tough. A whole ham! This changes my day. Thank you for the ham. Um, we might as well actually think about looting. Don't you- you had a good thing going, buddy. You could have just laid on the ground and enjoyed stomping the, the door. But that's okay. Um, maybe let's change our clothes. Maybe the Zomboids are coming after us because they see we're a prisoner. Maybe they think, oh, we gotta take care of them. Look at that. You look like a normal guy now, Marco. You don't look like a prisoner at all. Everything should be fine now, Marco. We'll check these uh, isolated cells as well. The uh, solitary confinement cells. I'm gonna take all the teddy bears we get. Hotties? That'll be good for the teddy bear later on. Um... And the loot over here. Cereal, sure. Food. Always always gonna say yes to that. The Boyds want your ham. They can smell the ham, can't they? Oh, unfortunately, it is my ham team. They are not getting a single slice of ham. Best of luck to the Zomboids, bro. They're not getting any ham. Alright. They may get a, a Marco, but they're certainly not getting a ham. That's a nice cell. I actually like these cells a lot. If I were in prison, I would not complain about getting a cell this big. This is a pretty nice size cell. Molly the Mole? What was Molly the Mole in prison? Oh, well, it is a mole after all, I guess. Both literally and figuratively. It's giving the police all the information they want. The inmates are being spied upon by Molly the Mole. They have an inside informant. His name is Molly. Perfect. What do we got in here? More toy bears, my favorite. Nails. Don't really need that. Uh, maybe I should take some of their gear, though. Why do all the prisoners have teddy bears? Is that kind of odd? Or am I just crazy for that? I don't know. I'll definitely wear that tactical hoodie. That's good protection for us overall. Oh, okay. Well, that's slightly better protection for us overall. <laughs> I thought that was going to be way better. Than it actually was. Let me, uh, let me try unrolling. There we go. Maybe that helps a little bit more with the protection. Yeah, that gives us a little bit more. We'll be fine now. Emotional support. I, you know what? I can get behind that. Everybody needs a little Sergeant Snuggles to hang out with, team. Let me get some water real quick. Clean up my rags. Take advantage of this full opportunity. It's very peaceful right now. It's nice. It's calm. There's no one trying to murder me. I could just live my entire life in this room. Look at this. I, I could just pretend nothing's wrong. Oh. Okay, there's a minor injury we've sustained, but that's fine. We have a bandage. Maybe if Marco's gonna be this klutzy, we go to the medical center. I don't know. In fact, yeah, let's go do that. Mm. Yeah, we'll go we'll go to the medical place. Marco, you're you're terrifying me. We can't have this today. Marco, we can't have this today. I, I can't do this today, Marco. You can't be doing this to me. Oh, this is to the other cell block. We don't want to go there. We do not want to go there at all. Medical thing should be over here in this room, I think. We'll see. They're hiding shanks inside of the toys. Actually, that would make sense to me. This guy is definitely in need of medical attention. Let me tell you. Oh, God. Hold on, we need to go in, like, 4K, Dolby Vision, HDR, IMAX quality for this one. What's going on, buddy? Let's, let's enhance. Oh my god. The dubious little creature. Banging harshly upon the door. 
Aren't you going to hurt your hand like that, buddy? Oh my gosh. Well, thanks for the butter knife, buddy. What trade is making him so clumsy? It is the... Oh, Suture Needle, hold on. It is called Noodle Legs. It's from the More Traits mod, which basically makes our chance for tripping whenever we are jogging or sprinting very high. So, yeah. It apparently, is if, we ne uh, if we level up our Nimble skill, it'll decrease that chance. But, I mean, leveling up Nimble is the worst experience in this game completely. I hate leveling Nimble, I'm gonna be honest. I'm, I'm gonna keep it 100%. I hate leveling Nimble. Oh no, I want you on the inside. This is fine. Oh dear. See, I'm trying to get a bunch of medical equipment first off. I want to try and get as much gear as possible before I try to make a break for it on the outside, because we barely made it out of that first scrape, and I don't want to put myself in a situation like that again where, you know, we're at considerable risk of dying with Marco. Alright, it's all about minimizing risk, okay? How many of you invest in 401ks? Because let me tell you, if you're not doing that, what are we doing, buddy? Marco! He's fine, team. He's okay. How do you grind nimble? I'll show you how you grind nimble. This is how we do it, team. Isn't this great? This is- I love leveling Nimble. It's the best experience. It is so much fun. Leveling Nimble is great. <laughs> I love it. All you do is you walk like this. Stand up. And that's how you do it. Alright, well, I think we got as much medical equipment as we can possibly manage. I should probably take painkillers. Yeah, we should take that. Also, maybe beta blockers. Probably would be good. Have a little snack. Let's just prep ourselves. Let's prepare. Mentally, emotionally, everything. I enjoy your shorts. Love from Ireland. Welcome in, man. I appreciate that. Oh. Oh, damn. He got really unlucky with his prison sentence. But I got super lucky with this shotgun zomboid. Please go on the ground. Or come up. That's fine. Come up. This is fine with me. You need a bag? We'll probably end up getting a bag. But I do want that shotgun. And the nightstick. Wait, we actually can do things now. Like, this is good for us, team. Does this have ammo? Uh, no, it does not. Oh my god! Came out of nowhere. Startled me. I feel really bad for that guy, though. He's having a moment, team. Yeah. I'd, I'd, I'd react the same way. It's tough. Worst possible cell you can be put into in prison. Under the staircase. Everybody just looks at you. I love when they do that. Now Beaver's armed up. I mean, well, we're kind of armed up. We don't have ammo, though. And that's a lot of zomboids. We're gonna go this way. We go back this way. Hmm. Don't love that. Did I just hear the door break behind? We're fine. I gotta, I gotta be a little careful. I gotta be a little bit careful. Oh, snacks? Hold on. No. Get no food. How did you shove the zombie? Uh, just space. I have a mod called the Gunstock mod, which, by the way, uh, we do have a full list of mods. I don't know if Nightbot is working. You can try x Point mods in my chat. If not, it's available on my Twitch. Um, I, I use a bunch of mods, and one of them is the Gunstock attack mod, which is great. Thank you so very much for the sub there, Zax. Yeah, I think I said your name correctly. If you're enjoying, team, if you're new, hit the sub button. All right, it helps you out a ton. And like the stream. Please, God, please do that. Bourbon! My day is made. Yes. We have unlocked exactly what we needed, team. Step 8, Marco. Freedom! For you, Beaver. Not for me. Oh my god. Wait, are we clear? Oh, that is not clear. That is not clear at all. Wait, this is the front door. Hold on. Oh, okay. I need to move over a little bit. Hold on. Move him, move him over here a little bit. That's gonna be fine. Let me get the lighter out. I don't like hearing that sound. That's fine, though. That's not a problem. Don't trip, Marco. What does this guy do? Oh my god, you're blocking the doorway. Go this way. Go this way. Lose him this way. 
I could go through that. On the ground. Wait. Freedom! No, not necessarily. Not necessarily. Excuse me. This way. Oh my god, you're not in the building. <laughs> How did that just happen? What the fuck? I have no ammo. We're screwed. Just found your channel through shorts. Love the content. Thank you, man. I appreciate that. That's very, very kind of you. Welcome to the channel. I appreciate the kind words. Stop with the Black Ops 1 references. I love Black Ops 1. I, this is kind of crazy, because I know people always say Black Ops 2 is better. Oh, we're... Oh, we're not... We're not in a good position here, team. Oh, that is not good. That is not what I like to see have happen. Uh, just go. Just go. Deal with the injury later. Oh my god, you're fine, actually. Hold on. Oh, no, you're not fine, Marco! You're not fine! We're fine. No, no. Get him. Get him. Oh! Stomp. No. Marco, run. Replace as much as we can so we don't get infected. Don't pull up on me, please. I feel like it's pulling up. Oh my god. What is that movement? Why are you doing- No, Marco! No, Marco! <laughs> Good. No. Oh, don't do this to me. I'm being griefed by Gunstock. Nightstick. I, I could have gotten Stomp. I could have... This is unreal. What I was going to say, though, is I personally think Black Ops 1 is better than Black Ops 2. In my opinion. I think the maps are way better for multiplayer. I think the campaign, in my opinion, was more enjoyable. I already had a holster, didn't I? I did not need to do this. Oh, well now I just took off the one I was wearing. I did not have a spare holster either. <sighs> okay. That's fine. Is there a car I can steal? It, it, will that change everything? Or... I don't know. We'll be fine. 100% agree Black Ops 1 was peak. It was just way better in my opinion. Like, Black Ops 2 was great too. Black Ops 2 was great. I, I just think... I feel like a lot of the guns in Black Ops 2, like, half of the guns, I didn't really like. I felt like the meta was a lot more... weird. I think quickscoping was way more prevalent in Black Ops 2. I feel like that ballista was kind of crazy. That guy has a... oh my god, wait. We're about to be cooking. That guy has something insane that I really want. If I can clear this out to the point where I can just stomp on that little crawling guy with the bag, that's good. That's a very big first start for Marco. I'd love if Marco can do that. The real question comes down... Oh, you know what the issue is? Take beta blockers. Panic. Lower the panic. You do have another holster? Do I? Wait, am I just blind? Oh my god, I do. Thank you. Thank you for shouting down for me. I completely forgot. Yeah, he had a military bag, which is really nice to see. Great storage capacity. Very roomy. Lots of opportunity to store things in there. It seems the more I pull back, though... Mmm, let's see, this is where problems arise. This is what I like to call sunken cost fallacy. We've already invested so much time and energy into bonking the zomboids. But, wait a second. If I maneuver this properly, I might be able to make the biggest play of my career. I'm not even going to troll. We might be able to do something massive, because the crawlers are obviously... Don't do that. They're obviously way slower than the walking zomboids. As long as we don't get a sprinter, I think we're actually able to do something here. I just gotta play this smart. These guys are unaware. I don't know what they're doing. They're just hanging out, having a good day. Or oh, whatever. What up, Mass? Just wanted to say I love your shorts. Thank you, man. I appreciate the kind words. Thank you all for being here. I know I don't normally stream on YouTube. Uh, I want to take YouTube a lot more serious in 2024. I have plans for some big, long-form content going on. All sorts of stuff there. Um, of course, shorts will continue as per usual. I want to branch out into other games slowly but surely. Don't worry, Zomboids is always going to be my bread and butter here, team. Oh my god, this is huge. We're doing it. I'm full sprint ahead. Full speed. Full speed. Full speed. No! Yes! Okay. Now we just loop them. We just loop them. We do a little, little zigzag -aroo and we're going to be fine. Yeah. We could even Molotov this, you're right. Maybe I- well, no, I should save the Molotov. I'm gonna eat the whole ham right now. 
and some painkillers. While we're just waiting, we'll get a nice little boost to our endurance uh, with the energy. There we go. Full to bursting. A whole ham in one sitting. Who can see that one coming? Large backpack is about to be acquired. We can check the vehicles, too, while we're here. Maybe we'll get a key. Maybe. No? All right. Well, it was worth a shot in the end, I think. It was worth a shot. We're kind of listening to some weird music right now. I might have to change the playlist. We'll see. He wants to focus on us. I actually try to read chat as much as possible. I will say I think YouTube is a little harder to read chat than Twitch. Uh, just because of the way the UI is. But I do try to read chat as much as possible. Because honestly, like a situation like this, I don't need to look at my screen. I just walk forward, I'm fine. Not a problem. I don't know what that guy was doing. Anyways, the crawlers are a non-issue. Where's my little guy? Where's my boy? Well, that is not my boy. My boy! Where are you? There you are. Backpack. Other gloves. Oh, yeah. We're chilling. We're out. We're leaving. We're done. We, we've we survived. I got what I needed. I depart. Hand tomato chips, Louisville map, and annotated map. Is that for Rosewood? That's for Louisville. All right. Waste of my time. I hate, I feel like every annotated map I get at this point is always for Louisville. It's never for a town I'm in. It's always going to be for another town that I am not interested in. Like, I love Louisville, but not for this challenge. Like, that is not happening. Yeah, this is like some clown, this is like some circus music. I guess Marco is the, the clown, though. We could even get some makeup. If we find makeup, we're making him into a clown. Okay, that's not great. I should not check that. I'm not going to have time. This might be the run? Dude, the W's are actually significant today, Butter. We love that. You know what we also love? You liking the stream. Please do that. Please like the stream. And subscribe to help me reach 90,000 followers on YouTube. What if you said there was a katana zombie? What would you do? I mean, there is a katana zombie. But it doesn't spawn until two months into your playthrough, sadly. You have to get two months in to see a katana zombie, which is kind of sad. I would love if I could get a katana day one. Survivor home? Potentially. Potentially. We don't know. Maybe we get super lucky with that. I Who knows? I'm just happy to have escaped prison, all right? Denny's security? They don't fuck around. All right, I'll be honest. The Denny's security did not take loitering at all as a comedy. I don't like that. No. Thank you for... Oh, thank you. No, don't th God damn it! Why does a tree do this to me? I hate trees in this game. The worst thing in this game, in my opinion. Oh dear god, I'm running for my life. I'm running for my life. I'm running for my life. I don't know. He's coming. He's coming. He's coming. Vault. Where is he? Clear? Flank clear. Just push me already so I can deal with this. Oh my god. I don't like sprinters at all. Come on. Come on. Thank you. Give me the finish. Oh no. Oh no. Vault. Thank you for not tripping. Thank you. Run. I hate that. Thank you so much for the sub, by the way. I didn't see who that was, but regardless, very, very kind of you. Mike is cutting in and out. I think it's a buffering issue on you. I think that might be what it is. I'm going to be honest. Because I think, like, my preview seems to be fine. I'm going to be honest. Marco, get your ass up. Did you drop that? No, you didn't. Okay, thank God. Do you have any, uh, do you have that mod that makes zombies listen to your mic? I do. Okay, I don't like the skinwalker creatures that are coming after. <gasps> I should, uh! Oh my God. He's so sturdy with it. His skull is very strong. I kind of want to put him down and I like, okay. I could become the skinwalker though. I could become this creature. I, for, I, I could forgo my humanity and evolve to the next stage. All it takes is courage and the other zomboids not ruining this for me. Please don't do this to me. Where's my, where's my little guy? Oh no, there's my little guy. Come here, buddy. I'm taking a big gamble with you. I'm taking a huge gamble with him. 
What up there, Gladiator? How's it going? Welcome in. Excited for Friday? Oh my god, the playtest on Friday will be sick. Actually, this is a great opportunity to let you guys know, because I know not everybody here is from my Twitch streams and is kind of up to date with all this. I am working on a big Project Zomboid mod behind the scenes called Remnants of Kentucky. And you might be wondering, what is Remnants of Kentucky? It is a multiplayer PvP mod that is basically replicating Escape from Tarkov, but in Project Zomboid. Custom safe houses, custom map, custom game mode, uh, wholly unique systems and all that. It should be really, really fun. And this Friday, we're doing a big playtest. So if you guys would like to learn information and potentially participate in the playtest, uh, you can join my Discord. All the information is in the Discord team. I would love to see as many people as possible uh, participate. That sounds unreal. We've been working on it since June. Maybe towards the end of the stream, I will share with you guys a little preview. Like some sneak peeks, perhaps. I really want to get this guy, but at a certain point I have to ask myself, is it worth it? I don't think it's worth it right now. I come back with the force of a thousand humanoid people. I don't know. Have you selected them yet? No, I have not reached out to anybody. I'm really bad at Tarkov, but hopefully I can get good at Remnants Kentucky. If you're good at PvP and Product Zomboid, you'll probably be good at Remnants Kentucky. We're doing some custom traits as well to hopefully make uh, combat. I don't know. No. Oh my god. Oh my god, run. Run! I've asked you nicely, Marco! Marco! No, Marco! Are you okay, Marco? You are not okay. I don't even need to look at... Oh, dear Christ, Marco is not okay. Climb the fence. Do something right. Do something right. You're severely bleeding. Oh my god, you're dead. Marco, you're dead. I'm so sorry, Marco. I'm so sorry. And now he is forced to crawl the earth for the remainder of the universe's time scale. Well, that's the best run we've had so far. Nine hours. That's that's like a thumbs up right there. I don't know. Marco hurt his little legs. He was not good at running team. Let's try it again. Uh, this time I might go like a little. I might I might just fully focus on escaping the prison. I might also drop back down to very high. Just because it seems like once we get out of the prison, there's a lot of dubious little creatures, and I don't mind that, but kind of makes the end game a little hard. I mean, it's all about getting out of the prison. More sprinters? I don't know about that one, Gene. I'm glad I was a no-voter. Perfect. The bunny. Butter bunny. <laughs> Let's try this, team. Oh, Kate and Bob eating each other. Lovely. Yeah, I'm going to keep it very high this time. Let's keep it on very high. And we'll just escape the prison. We'll we'll try to do something to him. Yeah, everything should be fine. We'll keep noodle legs. Marco, this is the real deal. Do not screw around with me, Marco, alright? I do not want to see you eaten alive again. Alright. What is your favorite character? From Call of Duty? Oh god, I mean Woods. I have to give it to Woods. Woods is, like, the most badass. I don't know. Okay, what are you- wait, we're actually out of our cell. Oh my god. Thanks so much for the follow, by the way. Uh, I appreciate that. I can't read the name, but you are my new favorite sub, whoever that is. Oh dear. Well, that's fine. No sprinter so far. Not a big deal. Not a big deal. I'll take nothing from you, actually. Uh, oh. We will take that. Oh yeah, I'm like Hudson now. Da da da! Dude, I, I want to play Black Ops 1 again now. Black Ops 1 is so good. Why am I going into the... No, I... Let me... I'm not even fighting you people. I don't need this right now. Have a good day. If I can get some medical equipment, I dip. Like, we, we dip. Dodge, duck, 
dip and dive. Suture Needle, thank you. Uh, scissors we can use as a weapon, even though it'll be terrible. I wish... Here's one thing I'll say, actually. I'll demonstrate this right now. The scalpel? I would think the scalpel would be way better as a weapon. It's terrible. The scalpel is horrific. Hold on. Stand up. I'm, you're going to make this seem biased if I do you down. Oh, dear God. Wait, I just... Oh, even down, you're terrible. Okay. Yeah, the scalpel's already about to break. Yeah, this is tough. I don't like this. I wish the scalpel was better. It makes no sense that the scalpel is not good. Antibiotics, though? We say yes. Bandage? We say yes. Pain colors? We say yes. Do we get beta blockers? We do not. Thanks so much for the sub, by the way. I appreciate it. Did you get banned on Twitch? I did not get banned on Twitch. No. I have never, ever, ever been banned on Twitch, and we were going to stay that way, team. We are, we are never getting banned on Twitch. I will never violate the Twitch Terms of Service. Every day I wake up and the first thing I do is recite the Twitch Terms of Service from very top to bottom. Because adhering to the Twitch Code of Conduct is all I strive for, okay? We love Twitch. We love Amazon. We love Jeff Bezos. We love all Amazon products, team. Amazon is the best. Was there four water bottles? Was that actually... Hold on. Oh my god, we're cooking. I should take that. I, compl I can't believe I missed that, by the way. Did you just start streaming on YouTube today? We did. I'm So, for anybody curious, because I know we have some people who are normally here from the Twitch streams. Okay, thank you, Scalpel, for your service. Um, we have no plans to stop streaming on Twitch, but what I may end up doing is maybe once or twice a month, we go live on YouTube. Um, just because I want to take YouTube a lot more serious. Again, I have long-form content in production. I have some big videos in the works. Um, big product. There's just a lot going on. And uh, I want to take my YouTube a little bit more serious as we move into that stuff. So it don't be surprised if you see more streams. I would not consider this a regular thing. But, of course. No, can you not do this while I'm having a heart-to-heart -heart with my community? Oh, the scissors. Why are you useless as well? Why is everything useless in this? Oh my god, are you a sprinter? You're not. I thought you sprinted up to the door. Alright, you're fine. Go out. Oh, he's not out! My stomp does more damage. Do a Twitch Dacuzzi stream? Only if we get a thousand tier 3 subs by tonight, team. Alright, I will give you a, a hot tub product zomboid stream. I'll be in a hot tub, I'll bring my computer outside, and I'll do that. I could escape that way, but I'm not going to. I'm going to go to the armory. I really want to try and go to hit, hit up the armory. I don't understand. Thank you. I was about to say, that, that needs to work for me. It looks clear. It actually looks clear. Oh my god, it's clear. The armory is mine. All the guns inside. Oh, bueno. I need to make sure I'm not being followed, which I think I am. Oh, yeah, I hear somebody. M500, let's go. Shotgun shells, let's go. More shotgun shells. Is someone coming after me? Oh, my God. You're wearing a shower cap. That's mine now. Where? I look beautiful. I don't... Why does this actually seem like the fit? Oh, dear. Too much zoom. Hold on. Too much zoom. Yeah. Freedom, Mason! For you, Mason. Not for me. Improvised iron sights. I don't think I should go pistol. And the only reason I say that... Okay, we're definitely taking MP5. Um, the only reason I say don't take a pistol this early on is our aiming level is... Uh, well, it's zero. So a pistol will not do much for us, sadly. Um, tragic as it is, we have to live in a world of reality. The pistol is useless. So we're not going to take that. I will dress up now. Uh... Camouflage pants? Yes, sir. Put those on. Oh, don't mind me. I'm just changing my clothes. Thank you. Box 3-8. Don't need. Uh, canned sardines. I do need, though. Yummy. R11. Oh, you know what? I'd rather take R1187 than M500. Personally. Box of shotgun shells. Beautiful. Is George sleeping? Uh, I don't know what George is doing. I think he's still awake. I don't know if he's still in chat, though. We'll see. Let me open up my 9 mil bullet boxes before we plan to escape. Uh, let me open up my shotgun shells as well. Oh, we're pretty over-encumbered, huh? Hmm. 
We do have a nice shell holder on the shotgun, though. I like that. Increases our reload speed. Insert some bullets into there. Yeah, beautiful. All right, MP5, do you have a... Oh, you do actually have a magazine. Interesting. Did the character on Twitch die? No, we still have our Twitch character. We're just not playing. I will not continue my, my Twitch character on YouTube. I'm just going to say that. That doesn't seem right. Because then people will come on on the Twitch stream and be like, What happened? It's like, oh, go watch this YouTube stream. Don't miss the cleaning kit? Oh, there was a cleaning kit. Do I need this, though? It's nearly a... I mean, I guess I can take it. It does repair the weapon. It repairs the weapon. Let me eat some sardines. Um, try to reduce some of my weight here. Get rid of the scissors. These are garbage. That's not going to help us. Definitely eat that food. No. I'm eating sardines. He's so hungry right now. He's he's hungry. Yeah, I know. It's tough, buddy. No, you cannot... You are not laying a, a finger on my sardines, okay? We figured out pathing, though. Why do I rarely see you live streaming on YouTube? Because I don't really stream on YouTube. I stream on Twitch, preferably. Did you use a mod to spawn in the prison? Yes, I did. If you go to the beginning of the VOD, um, it'll show you which mod. I think it's literally called Start in Prison. Escape! Oh my god, we're out. We're out. We, we are free. We're free. We're free. I'm free. If I get on the skateboard, we've escaped. We're okay. Let me just get out. Okay. Let me... Excuse me. Is the door clear? Thank God. Okay, skateboard. Get rid of the scalpel. Get rid of this. Uh, skateboard. I feel like I'm being chased by a sprinter. Why do I feel like that? I'm not. Okay. Let's just go to the to this. Hold on. Mixed. Uh, we, that's fine. We we can live without a, a spare box. Okay. Oh no, Marco. Let's go. Nice, Marco. We're out here. We are escaping in style, team. Don't mind me, just a young man skating away. <laughs> oh my god, the skateboard mod. Oh dear god, Marco. You get back on that, Marco. Nice, get back on that. Oh. They don't like skaters. Reloading the shotgun while skating. Scary. Scary. Can't steer. Population is very high, Asher. Population is very high. Shred for your life, Mark. <laughs> oh, he's skating, team. He's in the nair. The hole of meat. Remember Skate 3? Oh my god. Skate 3. What a blast. Skate 3 is so much fun. Excuse me. Just gonna skate on by. What do we got over here? No sprinters so far, which is a really nice surprise. Haven't come across a single sprinter. I might want to just start thinking about looting or clearing the fire station right away first, though. I don't know. Marco looks so badass. I think it's the shower cap that does it for me. I genuinely think it's the shower cap doing it. And you know what? I actually changed my mind. We want to hit up Mm, yeah, we do actually want to hit up the fire station first. Never mind. I've changed my already changed mind. Perfect. Are we injured at all? No, we're fine. A little exerted. Not gonna lie. A little exerted. But... Oh, they are having a nice little snack over there. I'm not gonna bother them. If we get in there, if we get an axe, I think we'll be fine. I'm pretty sure these are gonna be locked, though. I'm not gonna waste my time. Hopefully turning the corner will mean the zombie... Oh, dear. Hmm... Okay, perfect. In. Oh, not, not nice. Don't love that. Hurry, hurry. We're playing it big. This is a big, oh, that's, oh, but it's broken. Why? I have to go axes? I do like that. I do like that. We'll have to come back for that, though. I don't think I can afford that right now. Um, take one. Take one, and we run. I can't believe you actually just pulled that off. I'm actually so proud of you. Let's not go upstairs, because it's probably a death sentence. Let's go out. What is your chat delay? I don't think there is a delay, but unfortunately, YouTube chat is a little harder to read for me than Twitch. So, that's that's my only thing. That's my only thing. Thank you so much for the, follow, uh, the sub, by the way. The name... Jesus Christ, Marco. I can't even thank a sub anymore. Go, Marco! Did you just get bit? I swear to God, if you just got bit.
This is a joke. This is a comedy. Marco just doesn't want to live. I'm, a, I'm convinced at this point you don't want to live anymore, Marco. How does this occur to me, Marco? Well, we might as we might as well at least. Oh dear. Oh dear. We might as well have fun while we can. Oh dear, that's locked. Have fun, Marco. You know what? This is a real crime. That didn't last long, did it, Marco? The fun time did not last very long. Yep, we're drinking. All right, cool. Okay. Well, clearly things are not going well from Marco G. I don't understand how that occurs. I think the skateboard trolled us there. I'm not going to lie. I think the skateboard trolled us there. And that's a problem. Sort of made the bleach soda. The bite without the sound. I hate that. It, okay. It's the trees. I love Zomboid. Let me just up front. I love this game. Project Zomboid, banger game. If you don't already have the game, buy it. It works on any computer, basically. It's only $20 on Steam. So much playtime. I have invested, if I look. Um, oh, what are you doing? You're scaring me. Don't do this to me. Did you just crash? Yeah. All right. My game broke. <laughs> I love it. Let me... Okay, my score of Project Zomboid just went down by one. <laughs> Okay, we loaded into the tutorial, apparently. D is this what you think of me, game? You think I need this tutorial at this point? I thought the game was crashing. It was loading into a tutorial. Yeah, yeah, I can zoom out. Cool. Love, love that, Spiffo. Zoom back in, sure. Oh, good. Thanks, Spiffo. Yup. Okay. Thanks, Spiffo. I don't need this. I'm a talented Zomboid professional. What I was going to say, though, is I have just over about 1,200 hours in this game. I rate this game 8 out of 10. And the main reason I take away two points is, number one, the netcode, they need to fix that. I'm glad they're focusing a lot on that in Build 42, but they need to fix that, like, pronto. Uh, the FPS, also kind of an issue. If you crank up the population settings, bad. Not, not very good. Um, but also there are just minor annoyances with this game that when they end your runs are so terrible, are so, so terrible. And I don't know why it's the trees, it's the cutaway system. And it's also the fact that the cars and the vehicles in this game, you can get bit through without a graphical indicator that you are at risk of being bitten. The fact you can have a car door open while on the car it looks closed. Like, I've never been lied to in that regard. That is crazy. That is crazy to me. Yeah, Asher, if you spam like that, you will get timed out, team. Please do not spam in chat, okay? I appreciate all of you being here, but we cannot have the spam. The mods will delete you from existence. They're fixing that? I'm glad to hear they're fixing that, because that is a big annoyance. I've lost, I want to say, like, three of my characters to that. You have to, like, listen for the door shut. That's what you have to listen for. All right, let's give it a shot this time. Let's see if it goes well. We'll see. They can bite you through the car? Yeah, you can, you can... They can bite you through the car. That's a thing. If you get into a car too quick... And you immediately, like, do an action, like, put away an item, or you, you floor it, or whatever. You can have your character not close the door, technically. Trees have saved me multiple times. I have only been screwed by the trees, unfortunately. Also, hello there, Jacoby. How are you doing? First stream, welcome in. You came at a great stream. We're playing as uh, our boy, Marco G team. We love Marco G. We sure do. The loitering, though. Can't have that one. Let's give it another shot. We have made it out of the prison. Every single playthrough, we have made it out of the prison. I think. Maybe my mind is forgetting something, but I think we've made it out of the prison. It's been getting away. Like, after the prison part is the issue. That is our issue. Glad I found you through shorts. Now I'm fascinated by the game. Let's go, man. Well, this is the game. 
the dooby little creatures known as zomboids. Oh, my phone just beeped. My reel on Instagram has more than 2,000 plays. This is a great time to remind you, if you're not following me on Instagram, what are you doing? Follow me on Instagram, please. All right, start. Okay, what a great start. Dance mag- read. I don't care. I love knowledge. I love reading. I love dance. We never even checked what dances we have. We never even checked what dances we have. Let's, let's speed it along though, Marco, yeah? We don't have all day. Let's see what we got. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Show them who's boss. Oh, my God. Show them who's boss, Marco. They are not aware of your... Ex okay, now they're aware. Okay, Marco. Listen, I don't... Okay. Maybe reading was not the best... Marco. Do we have a tool in here that might help us? We have Spiffo. Do you have any words of wisdom, Spiffo? Anything you want to s Oh, never mind. I'm dead. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I wanted him to learn how to dance. I wanted him to be, uh... Well, thank you so much for the sub there. I appreciate that. You are my new favorite sub. All right, we can just probably start again, right? No, I have to go. No, we start again. We just start again. We see how it goes. That's fine. Prisoner run. Boom. Marco G, you're back in it. Respawned. True heroes never die. They just respawn. Oh. Oh, this is this is fine. Cereal and a toy bear. We love that. Bandages. Love that. Cho oh, chocolate. <laughs> One last dance. Oh, they're all gone. Wait. Am I clear? Is this safe? Wait, what happened? They all just disappeared. The dubious little creatures, what happened? Are they like setting up an ambush for me or something? Or what's... I... This might be the most freest escape I've ever had. I don't know. Hold on, let's find out. Glitch start? I mean, maybe it glitches it, I don't know. I think we just glitched it. Yeah, we're safe. By spawning in here, it deleted all the zomboids. Hold on, wait, we have to investigate this now. Are we... Is this like new science we're discovering? When you spawn like that, it deletes... How do I get over to the, uh... I have to go the other way. Hold on. We're not being chased, Marco. You don't need... You don't need to trip like this is a horror movie, okay? No need to do that, buddy. I guess we'll go investigate. No, this is not where we go either. Tragic. This has to be the way. We won Zomboid. There's... They're gone. Is this what winning feels like? Oh my gosh, yeah, wait, they're gone. Okay, we, we discovered new science team. Spa so we do actually need to start a new world every single time. Where's the exact, was this the, uh... Did it like reset the world or something? Because I think we were, unless it, oh, it had to be down there. It had to be down there for sure. Yeah. Wait, did it, like, completely... I'm so confused. It, like, reset everything, I think. That's crazy. I don't know. Okay, either way, we have to reset. I thought I would find my dead body there or something, but I don't know. Noodle legs was the real up. <laughs> okay. Well, that's fine, team. Now we know, and knowing is half the battle. That's the true, the true science behind it. Real deal. For real, Marco. Don't fuck it up. Please, God, Marco, do not ruin this for me. At all. I beg of you. I beg of you. Please, Marco. Start as prisoner. We're full. I'm so serious. There's no dilly-dallying. There's no lollygallying. Lollyga lollygagging. Marco is surviving. Nothing but success. Victory and happiness and joy entering my heart today. Marco, if you don't pull this off, though, don't know what I'm going to do. Seventh time is a charm, team. Let's see how it goes. <laughs> Love your videos. Thank you, Stark. And I appreciate that, man. Welcome back. Welcome in to everybody who's new. If you guys are enjoying, you can help me a lot by hitting the like button. Uh, I don't normally stream on YouTube, but I'm having a blast so far. I'm not going to lie. Streaming on YouTube 
Is di- Okay, hold on. I, no more heart to heart. I don't care about anything I was just telling you guys. I'm so fucking wired in right now. It's unreal. That guy had a bag, though! <sighs> there was about to be a major bag. I should probably check these, though. For just any gear we can get. Any gear we can get off spawn is probably good. Chocolate, sure. Pencils, garbage. Um, that guy has... Oh, those are scissors. That's garbage. Never mind. Don't need you. Uh, that's garbage. Oh, this guy is lost as well. I don't know what he was doing. All right, we're out. Oh, we're not out. I'm in the wrong side again. It's that way. I always mess that up. We're not going to go second floor. We're going to go first floor. Um, do you have a weapon? Did I just see that right? A holster. Watch. Sardines. Bueno. Okay. Escape. We're fine. Wear the holster super quick and then we'll be fine. You should name your Marco from A to Z and increment the letter each time. Okay, that actually would be kind of funny. Oh, don't love that. Mm. We're gonna go the opposite direction. And by opposite direction, I mean I'm looping you! Oh my god, I'm looping! Is this a good way to go? I don't know. We have to go this way, though. Oh, that was the locker room, I think, though. There could have been gear in there. Oh, I kind of want to loot that now, but I don't know. Which way to the... Oh, wait. I want to, I want to try and get a weapon. Okay, well that... I would love that was a gun and magazine, but we'll take it, I suppose. I don't know where you came from. I really want to try and get like a nightstick or something before we dip. Don't know how feasible that is though. Is this the other side? Oh, we went the complete wrong direction, team. This is not where we want to be. I could go out the back though. Potentially. Actually, that might be the biggest play of all time. That may be a very nice play to do that way. Because this is, yeah, this is the cafeteria. If we go down this direction, we go to the locker room. And then we're chilling. We're chilling, team. Holy shit. Locker room? No, this is not the locker room. Okay, I lied to you. It's the next door over. Hello there, friends. Don't. I'll get the door for you. Don't worry. All right, there you go. Oh, this is the library. Okay. Once again, I have lied to you all. I thought my Tarkovsky skills, whatever that's, that technical word is, were better than this. Uh, they're not, it seems. They're not. So we're just going to read this magazine. Knowledge is abound, though. Endless splendors for the brain. I do like that. Anti-collector. Strip meat from the corpse. You know I love cannibalism. It's my favorite activity. Mince the corpse into fertilizer. Now you're speaking my language. What else do we get? Before the pipelines. Oh, you are hitting me where the I live and breathe, team. Get me out of here. Where's the locker room? Oh, here it is. Oh, okay. Not really a great locker room, though. I'm so lost, team. I'm going to be honest. I don't... I played in the... Pr I hate you so much, Marco. If you just injured... Okay. He's fine. He's okay. I need your clothes. We're fine. The map is manipulating us. That's true. You know what? Maybe the map is changing. First ever location in Predic Zomboid where the map updates randomly. I actually do like that about Build 42. We're going to be supposed to be getting like a random aspect to the map. Okay, I didn't expect three of you. That's fine, though. No? I, Marco, it's not fine anymore, actually. Is this the happy place? Oh, this is where I wanted to be. This is what I was talking about all along. Where? Where? Okay, we have to escape. Marco, I need good gear. I need really good gear, okay? Uh, a holster, anything that we can. Oh, nightstick, thank you. That's what we needed this whole time. Here, fix your hand. Is that your left? Thank God it's the left hand. Um, I kind of was hoping you almost got night vision goggles, but I don't think it's going to happen. Uh, tactical hoodie, sure. Where? Oh, dear. They they broke it, didn't they? Yep, they're in. They're in. Oh, I'm pantsless, though. This is fine. Not a problem. Not a problem, as long as you want to wake up. Weapon. Oh, dear God. I need you off my screen. Oh, dear God. I don't have time. I'm running. Marco, let's leave. Let's leave. Let's leave. Let's leave. We're gonna go pantsless. No, Marco! Marco!
Oh, Marco. Marco's fine, team. He just has a little bit of a boo-boo. Nothing to worry about. Oh, he's good looking, though. I like his fit. He's gonna be fine. I, I'm sorry if I yell at Marco every now and then. It's just I, I care for my survivors too much. And I want nothing for the, but the best for them. And when I see them purposefully just throwing the bread like that, when I know they're, they're so much... They're capable of so much more. It just angers me. It just, it just angers me on a level I can't even begin to comprehend or explain properly. Well, this is like some real nice bumpy music though. I like it a little bit, team. Marco's out though, team. This is step one. We've been here before countless times. This is not an indicator of success, however. Getting a base somewhere I can slumber for the evening and not be harassed by dubious little creatures is the win scenario, I think. We're gonna have to hope for the best in that regard, but I don't know. Does this have a key? I love it. You do not have a key. Do you have a key? Let's check for a vehicle, because vehicle would be big. You do not have a key. All right. Uh, is that a key? Oh my god, wait. <gasps> I'm like a sniper, dude. I spot this shit from a mile away. Which ki oh, which car does this go to? It's this one. On the ground. I'm putting a... I can't do it. I can't... I cannot risk it like that. I have to be sure it has fuel. So we're going to loop them a little bit. We're going to do a little bit of a loop de loop and pull. And the shoes will be looking good. What up, Duke? Where's my Gamba? Only on... Um, maybe I can clear this, though. I don't know. Hold on. We didn't get beta blockers, which is a bit of a problem. That's okay, though. I'm fine with that. Uh, because I know we're capable of greatness without the beta blockers. We'll see. Did you get water? Oh, we did not get water. But you know what? Water, hydration, overrated team. All right, I think the most prevalent and important thing you need to keep track is gasoline, okay? That's all I care about right now. That's the only liquid I want in my hands. If I could get some gasoline, we could power up this vehicle and we could leave. We could just depart. Like Matt Damon in The Departed, I too could depart. That's why we didn't commit to this vehicle though, because I knew that would happen to us. I knew there would be no fuel in the car and my death would be certain. That's why we didn't do it. This seems a bit hopeless. No, we are not anywhere close to defeat team. We never give up. We never surrender. We never back down. We never give up. Any other synonym like that you want to say. We do nothing but charge into the future. Full steam ahead. All right. I will walk to salvation if I have to. We'll be fine. Hydrate. Rather dehydrate. Exactly, team. Exactly. I'm just going to... If we don't get a sprinter, we're fine. That was a sprinter, wasn't it? No, we're fine. We're fine. It's a little dark though, team, no? A little little dark around here. But that's okay. Let me why while we're walking, I suppose. Um while we're walking, I, I think we can look over our equipment and maybe determine what the best course of action would be for a Marco. Um we have a lot of magazines, which are nice, but won't be a direct help to us currently. A butter knife, we can put that on the right side of our belts. A bag of chips, I think that would be a nice morale boost for, for Marco. Make him feel like, you know, a normal day rather than uh, the start of the apocalypse. Yeah, yeah that's probably good. Um, chocolate as well, we'll save that for like super dire straits when Marco's like on the verge of complete collapse and depression. I think he's going to be fine though. Uh, we just, we walk forward. We continue moving. We don't move swiftly, but we move steadily, okay? This is not a hare race, this is a tortoise race, okay? Let me tell you. Call me Franklin, because I am moving at a speed of the, of a turtle. We'll be fine. Marco is good at walking away from danger. But if he runs, he either trips and falls. Well, I think we can just end it there. Right? He just trips. If he runs, he trips. That, <laughs> that's it. You guys remember what that is? That, do you guys get that reference, though? Franklin? Franklin the Turtle? I have not seen that show in forever. What is Franklin the Turtle? Here's some information. Read it out to us, Siri? Not gonna do that. Okay, Siri, I'll read it for you then. Franklin the Turtle is a Canadian children's book franchise. All of the books in the original series were authored by Paulette Borgens, 
Oh dear, that's French. I can't. I that's I don't know that. Uh, illustrated by Brenda Clark. Okay, that didn't really provide as much information as I was hoping for. I wanted more information about the turtle itself, but that's fine. Excuse me. Excuse me. No need for that. All right, back full focus. I uh, I think the current hope. Oh my God! Wait, that's the farmlands. Wait. Okay, guys. Lock in with me for a moment. Lock in. Everybody lock in. Lock in. Fuck you, Marco. Just Lock in, Marco. What did you do? What have you done? No, that's the crafting menu. Oh, no. Oh, no. He's fine. He's okay. Thank you very much for the sub, though, there. I, I wasn't able to read the name, as per usual, because my eyesight is terrible. But I appreciate it. You are my new favorite sub now. I appreciate that. Lock in, Marco. Come with me. Maneuver. Don't... Oh, you lost your glasses. Oh, that really kind of was... That was kind of like the big puzzle piece to that whole thing, but that's fine. Um, we're pre... Oh, dear. No, that's bad. Okay, never mind. Team, strategy, we're gonna have to come with a backup plan. Because that was, uh, not what I intended to see have happen there. My original goal was we walk through this building... And the Zomboids, being the dubious little creatures they are, they would get confused and they would want to, like, bang on the windows and the doors and they wouldn't chase after me. But, um, wasn't able to make that happen currently. That's fine. Can you show us how the lights work on the ambulance? If I find one, sure. <laughs> but something tells me we won't find an ambulance. We might find a police car. If I can get up, like, to a position where I can actually drive it without you know, about to die. Sure. Um, no sprinters so far, by the way. We do need to find shelter soon, however. Uh, I believe that is our biggest pressing issue currently, as we have a good amount of weapons and some snacks. So not a big deal. Um, I just need to escape. Let's climb this fence. Okay, Marco. So, Marco, that... Well, how many are in here, by the way? Am, am I in, like, the, the danger zone now? Hmm. I mean, this is kind of dangerous. I wouldn't say this is, like, red alert levels, though. I would say this is, like, DEFCON 2 rather than 1. Like, we might be able to make a maneuver here if we believe hard enough. Uh, based on how you're performing, though, Marco, I can already tell you're giving up. Yeah, I would get a finish right there. I would get... I like that powerful hit from you where you knock him on the ground, but unfortunately, it just doesn't seem like we're getting anything else right now, Marco. Mmm. Marco, Marco... Marco! Are we okay, Marco? Laceration and scratch. That's fine with me. That's okay. As long as it's not a bite... Yeah. You know what? I shouldn't... I, I should have expected this from the Marco. But that's fine. Marco is going to be A-OK -okay team. It's a 20... That, yeah, 25... Well, a little bit more because we get the scratch. So like a 30% chance. I like my odds, though. Uh, I just won a dollar, a singular dollar playing poker recently. So uh, I guess you could say my luck is up. Uh, I do need water, like desperately, though. Water is going to be the biggest pro Don't do this to me, Marco. Marco, do you know how to open a window? Marco, this is a slide window, not a pull-up. Oh, dear Lord. Clean really quick, just because I know we're going to need those. Drink some water afterwards. They're coming, aren't they? I hear them. Their groans are significantly loud. Don't. Get the water. Get the water. Can opener. Take. Okay. Uh, no, don't. Don't. We don't need it. Don't need it anymore, actually. That's fine. Are you a little sleepy guy? Hold on. He had nothing, though. That's fine. Okay. No, Marco, don't do this to me. Try again. One more try, Marco. All right. I believe in you. Yes. See? Positive re- Positive reinforcement team. That's what we needed from Marco. We're going to be fine. Marco is going to be just fine, team. It's a nice, whimsical walk through the woods. We're going to go hit up the houses over here. Don't see, you don't see me. I'm wearing camouflage. Urban camouflage with no pants. I blend in like any other Rosewood native. We'll be fine. We'll be okay. We're in and out of here, team. Some of the YouTube emotes are kind of funny looking. I don't know. I do want to take a quick moment, though, while it seems we have a, a brief breathing period 
to thank you all for being here. I, I think that's very kind of all of you to spend some time with me and chill out. Uh, I don't normally stream on YouTube, but I am regularly live on Twitch. If you guys want to head over there, the username is Big Bad Beaver. And uh, I think we'll try to do more YouTube streams over the next couple months. Like, maybe one or two streams a month, I think, would be cool for YouTube. Okay, seems like they're coming. How many are there? Okay, this actually might be... This might be fine. I think we might finally get a, a, a base. Wait, Marco, you're cooking. Leadfoot. Leadfoot. There you go. Leadfoot. We're chilling. We're chilling. What is the Marco lore? Well, Marco was in prison for 78 years because he committed the heinous crime of loitering in a Denny's parking lot, which you just can't be doing that. You just, you just cannot be doing that. But he's out now, team. The Zomboid Apocalypse started up right at the same exact moment. Great timing for him, honestly. Very, very luckily. But we'll see. Lead foot but noodle legs? It's the legs that are the issue. It's not the foot, Jedi. It's the it's the legs that are the biggest issue. But we have a home now. This is our base. This can be uh, where the home is. Oh my god, you're kidding me. This is meant to be. This is absolutely meant to be. Take off that jacket really quick. Put that away. Look at this, team. The 24 karat gold Bivar shirt we discover like that. That's crazy. I'm so happy right now. That's a great... That's a that's a very good find for me. That's a great sign, in fact. Let's take a look at this. We're feeling a little sad. I don't know why you're feeling a little sad. Uh, ooh, fish filet, freshly cooked as well. Nice little dinner. That'll cheer you up, right? Can you tell me Marco's traits? Sure, I can show everybody. Um, let me just double check this. Oh my god, we have so much stuff. Let me cook up these bacon and sausages real quick. Put this in the oven. Um, but for Marco team, the traits, we are using more traits. For me to be curious, I do use that uh, mod I really, really like. But um, the traits are as follows. Oh, we need to fit. He's going to be all right, team. This is not a problem. He's going to be okay. He's going to be just fine. We'll replace that. He'll be just fine. Don't worry. <laughs> He'll be good. Oh my god, wait! Oh, Thurman, Riley, thanks so much for the $10 super chat. Very, very kind of you. YouTube game, can't, definitely count to see me watching when I can. Let's go, man. I'm so sorry, I have to like lean in because my eyesight is terrible. Uh, but thank you so much for the, the super chat. That's very, very kind of you. Helps out a ton with supporting the channel. We'll, we'll try and do more of these. If I can try to get like one of these a month, I think that'll be great. Along with the same Twitch content we have every week. I think that'll be a lot of live streams. Along with team, we have some cool uh, YouTube videos uh, in the works. Like actual long form videos that are Project Zomboid. I know you guys want Project Zomboid. What's the goal after the home? Well, I want to try and get actual good weapons now. So we'll probably head over to the fire station in just a minute. Uh, probably in the morning. Although we might be infected. How, how are we looking? Oh, no, we're chilling. We're not infected, team. I, this is concerning me a little bit. I'm not going to lie. I don't really like to see this. Like, that, that's making me believe, like, Marco's not okay. Are these burnt? Oh, they're still cooking. Okay, that scared me. I thought this would be way too long. Uh, we'll take that out. We'll eat the bacon. Everybody loves bacon. Bacon is, like, nature's candy. Right? Everybody feels real cheered up after some bacon. I'm going to turn that into a Molotov as well. And I will clean up my rags. Sausage is almost done. I love that too. Marco V7 is him. He's immune. It feels good. If he were actually immune, I'd, I'd love that. If you don't like bacon, I don't think you're human. I like bacon, but I'm kind of weird in the sense that I prefer my bacon chewy. I know all people are always like, I want crispy bacon. I want my bacon chewy. I don't know if I want crispy bacon like it's not bad i just prefer like it seems better to me when it's chewy that may be kind of weird bacon has way too many calories okay true but um team i think i need the calories okay i think i'm entitled to eat whatever i want all right baja blast thank you mountain dew for bringing baja blast the entire year of 2024 Oh yeah, no, it's bad, team. 
My BMI? I don't know what my BMI is. I'm gonna be honest. Are your legs covered in blood? Mm, blood and mud from tripping so many times, but we can wash up. That's probably, that might be why he's so depressed. He needs to wash himself a little bit, team. You're right. Let's clean him up. Wash yourself now. Perfect. Oh, wow. All of those just went dirty at the same time. Damn. The wounds we sustained escaping prison were significant. What is your weight? I weigh about, I want to say 160-ish. 155, 160. The issue with me, though, is uh, I am six foot seven, team. So, like, I don't really look like that's my issue. If I wasn't so tall, I would be like normal proportions for my weight. But because I am so tall, yeah, that's the, that's where the problem goes. Six foot seven? Yeah, I mean, if you guys want, I can. I wasn't trolling about six foot seven. I'm not trolling. I'll go all the way in the back right now. I wasn't trolling. Chair stream? No chair. No chair. We don't like chairs, team. Chairs are for the weak. By the way, I'm sleeping. If I can. Am I good to sleep? I'm so, I'm so depressed. I don't know why. Maybe I can... Oh, wait. Hold on. You know what we should do, actually? I know the window is covered in ketchup now, so that's a problem. But are we being... It's surprisingly clear. I do want to do a perimeter check. I never like going to sleep without making sure like there's no one. Yeah, see, because what's going to happen is the little dubious little freaks, they're going to come over. They're going to start knocking on my windows and then they're just going to like happen to find their way into my building. I don't know. Why is your mouse pad facing the wrong way? I don't know. I This is just the orientation I have it in. I like my mouse pad like this. I like the Steel Series logo upside down. Oh, well, this guy's unaware. Six foot seven is crazy. Yeah, I, I'm gonna be honest, not a huge fan of being six foot seven. I guess I'd rather be very tall than very short, but neither is a great experience. I am unable to fit in certain cars. Uh, I have to duck when I go through doors, uh, door hinges or whatever, like the door frames. Um, I've hit my head on street signs before. Which wasn't a great time either. I love that you do this to me, by the way, Marco. You son of a bitch. Mar Marco! Everything was going great. Oh, wait. Actually, Cook. Thank you, Marco. I, I forgive you. We all make mistakes. That's what makes us human. I love you, Marco. Look at me. Pick that up and look at me. I love you. And I love you. You're my new favorite sub. Thanks so much for that sub. We need Corporate Beaver's opinion on uh, chair stream. Guys, do you really want Corporate Beaver? What is this jazz we're listening to? This is too peaceful of jazz. I don't know if I can deal with this cheese. Did Kelly die? I don't think I know who Kettle, uh, Kelly is. You need to take a shower again? Yeah, we have to wash up again, sadly. And then I do want to go to bed, although we are bleeding again. What happened? Can we not? Like, this is the game. This is the, the product Zomboid experience. Oh, no. Don't do this to me, buddy. I d this is not happening currently. Oh, where did this guy come from? What the hell? On the ground. Okay. Oh, I did not show traits. I'm so sorry. I can show traits in just a minute. Let me like... What song are we listening to? Wait. <laughs> what is this song? Cute baby snakes. What was that? <laughs> what am I listening to right now? 
Go back to my smooth jazz. The mix went off the rails there for a second. I want my smooth jazz back. Leave the snakes. <laughs> Leave the s- No, I'm not putting on cute baby snakes, Steve. Yeah, unfortunately we have no emotes here on YouTube. Um, suppose- I, Like, I don't know how the emote system works. I think the emotes on YouTube are kind of scuffed, I'm being honest, but... Not a big deal, team. Not a big deal. It's fine. We're getting a bunch of new emotes made soon. Why aren't you live on Twitch? I wanted to go live on YouTube today. I really wanted to do a YouTube stream rather than a Twitch stream. I do Twitch every Monday through Thursday at 9 p.m. Eastern. I just, you know, I want to I wanna change. Thanks so much for that sub, by the way. I'm not able to read out names because the names are just so tiny for me. I apologize significantly, but you are my new favorite sub, whoever that is. All right. Close this window. Close that. I want you to wash... Wait. Are we using all of the... Okay, we need more... Ripped sheets. Replace everything. There we go. Okay, now we will wash everything. We'll clean up our rags. And I will wash myself and I will slumber now. And then tomorrow we are off the fire station. I still can't sleep. I'm in too much pain to sleep. That explains it. That would explain it. Thanks so much for the sub. This isn't jazz. This is 100% jazz. What do you mean? Do any of you have painkillers? Oh, dear. I might be able to check the house over to see if they have, like, a beer bottle or something, but I don't know. I might have to just work out. In fact, you know what? That's probably the better strategy. Let's just work out for a couple hours. Exercise. Sit-ups. 60 minutes of sit-ups, team. My favorite activity. Very good. Replace the bandages. Hopefully, over time, these will also heal. I know we went slow healer, so it's going to be kind of a problem. How's my walking speed with all of this, by the way? Like, is it messed up? Is it bad? My walking speed actually seems fine, all things considered. That's kind of crazy. Alright, we'll rest up, we'll continue. Mm, how do I oh, rest? There we go. Ta-da. Closing curtains is for pussies. What? What do you beat? What does that even mean? Okay, we're fully rested. Actually, do burpees. Oh, no, we shouldn't because I want to be able to fight tomorrow. I'm just going to do sit-ups. Screw up my legs. That's fine with me, but don't ruin my... my arms and everything. And I love that. That's great. Still can't sleep. Replace... Replace... Replace. Replace. I don't want them to get infected, because if they get infected, it's just going to take forever to heal. Oh, why do you do this to me? We're so close to being able to sleep, though. I need to get, like, 90% fatigue to be able to sleep with pain. I can't believe we were injured this much trying to escape the prison. There we go. We'll be fine. Okay. We'll probably just super speed time. Yeah, it's 1 in the morning, too. I'm not going to set an alarm. We'll just wake up when we wake up. Um, and hopefully everything will be fine. I'm not worrying about this. I'm not worrying about this. Sleep. Oh my gosh, I can't sleep yet. <laughs> Maybe I need to worry about it then. Everything is a problem, it seems. We are all under problems. This work Ugh, so yes! Thank God. Slumber. I don't care. I don't care. I just want to sleep. Please. Wake up at a normal time. Like, noon is fine with me. Oh, thank you. 11.30. We'll take that. Alright. Let's go ahead. Remove. Remove. I want to clean everything. We'll fix this in the morning. Actually, a lot of our wounds healed, too, which is exactly what I wanted. They are infected, the ones that remain, though. Mm. That's fine. That is okay. Ah, oh, yes, the dubious little creatures. They await for me. Outside. Lovely. We'll move over towards the fire station today, though. I don't want to go through the trees, because they might have chased me. I don't know. Wait, we're queasy? No, we're not queasy. You're trolling. We're fine. You scared me a little bit, I'm not gonna lie. Mmm. Mm-mm, mm-mm, mm-mm. Don't love this group of zomboids right here. But that's okay. Oh, you know what I just realized? I might not actually have put customizable zombies on this one. 
They we might not actually have any sprinters on this run. I can check. Yeah, we don't have okay. Well, this is no sprinters then, team. Good night, uh, Zach. Very nice to meet you on YouTube. I hope to see you on another YouTube stream, man. In Julie, I knew you were going to do that. I hope you enjoyed, man. There we go. Now you have to start over. We are not starting over. This is the world we picked, team. The noodle legs alone will ruin us, team. I promise you. Noodle legs alone will be the death of us. First time watching you live. Welcome in. It's very nice to meet you. I need some finish. See, that's what I don't need, though. That is the opposite of what I needed. I just need... I hate that crawling animation. And it's so odd, too, when they do it. There we go. Oh, no. Oh, no. Wait, that actually is good for me. That's great for me. Oh, that's not... That's good. Okay. Good dodge. Good dodge, Marco. I love that. On the ground. No. Oh my god, we're so good. We're not getting we're not getting the finishes we need with the nightstick. That is our biggest issue right now. Oh, I don't like that. <laughs> what is she doing? The poor shirt. It's fine. Guys, a little ketchup, we can clean it up. It's not a problem. It's kind of annoying that the zomboids keep spraying their ketchup packets all over me when I just push them away, but it's not a big deal. Yeah, see? It's fine. This washes out. We get some Tide. We get some OxyClean. We'll be all good. No problem. How did Beaver master the art of the fences? Well, I wouldn't say I've mastered it. We definitely still make a couple careless mistakes every now and then. But it's just over time, you realize what works. And the dubious little creatures, they are very interested. They are adept at crawling over low-hanging fences. That's It's their favorite activity. They want to get really, really good at parkour. They think they're really good at acrobatics. In reality, they are uncoordinated. They have no ability to move swiftly. Okay? When they go to vault, like, look at them. Look at them. I can vault perfectly. I'm, I'm fantastic at it, okay? Even Marco with his terrible legs can do it. But these little guys, look at them. Crawling like that. It's so sad to see. I wish them nothing but the best. I mean, you have to train to get better, okay? Practice does make perfect. But can you really improve off of this? I don't know. Thanks for the bulletproof vest, by the way. I appreciate that. Is this in good shape? It is. Oh my gosh. No holes whatsoever. Bueno. Turd lunge off. Never looked back. I think I need to keep the lunge. My issue with the lunge is the range of attack it has. Like, I can be attacked... If I'm standing here, if a zombie crawls past me, it can swing over here and somehow that hits me. Like, that's my only issue with the lunge attack. I'm fine with everything else about the lunge. I think it's fair if it didn't have that annoying bug. I don't know. Mm, Nightstick isn't looking great. If we can get that shed, we might get a hammer or like a crowbar if we're super lucky, but probably not. We'll see. We'll see, team. What is this character's name? Our character's name is a Marco team. A Marco G. Everybody wave hello to Marco. If you've not said hello to Marco just yet, I don't know what we're doing. You need to wave hello to Marco team. Like, now, letter opener. That's garbage, I think. I don't think that's good at all, but we'll take it. Oh, wait. Replace that. Still wounded. Damn. Anyways, Marco G team, for anybody curious about the traits, I'm so sorry it took me this long. High thirst, noodle legs, slow healer, self-destructive, unlucky, dexterous, lead foot, quiet, quick rest, baseball player, grave robber, pack mule, and fit. Yes, Marco will wave back at all of us now. Thank you, Marco. Do a little salute as well. Oh no, where's your salute? There we go. That nightstick is going through your head. No brain, only nightstick. Oh dear, who locks their shed? This is America. Did you guys know that like uh, some crate, like I don't know the exact figure on this. I think when I checked it was like 46% or some shit. Like people just don't lock their garages. Do with that information what you will, okay? I'm just saying, you need to lock your garages team. If you have a house with a garage, 
Lock your garage. Just got the extra gun mod and infinite ammo mod. Oh my god. <laughs> that sounds funny. Okay. Let me break through the window, I guess. We'll do that. We need to cover the diaper. It's his underwear team, okay? What I need is... I mean, that doesn't hurt. What if we tried spears? What if we tried some spears, team? Oh, my butter knife is broken. Maybe we can't try spears. Maybe we get a knife in the house, though? Question mark? Spear? Okay, everything's locked. Everything is locked. I hate apocalypse locked doors. I don't know. Lock. Close this. Thank you. Meat cleaver? Can we use that to make planks or into spears? I don't think we can. Oh my gosh, we can. I will not complain. That doesn't feel like you should be able to, but I'll take it. Okay. Eat the sausage, too. I notice we're a little hungry. We'll drink some water. I need a bottle or something. T fresh tomato. A shrimp. I can't play it because I'll get DMCA'd. But I'm just imagining the, uh, the shark tail clip where they're at the diner or whatever with the sharks. And, uh... Eat this shrimp. And the shrimp's like, oh, the, ba the, the baby had uh, lost its hand and its fingers, but I've been working extra factories, every sh extra shifts at the factory, trying to put food at the table, but every time I look at that little guy's face, it makes it all worth it. What up, Von Giggles, by the way? Nice to see you. Welcome in on YouTube. Go to the military base in the forest. Oh, is it worth it, though? I'm going to be honest. Oh, dear. That's not cooked. That's not cooked. Oh, that is not the oven either. Hold on. Let's let's cook for a moment here, okay? Let's at least let that finish cooking. That kind of scare. Is that bad? Taking a bite before it's fully cooked, is that bad? Or am I going to be fine? 12 a.m. for me. Time for sleepies. No worries, Butter Bunny. I completely understand. Enjoy the rest. Oh my god. Enjoy the rest of... And Marco, thank you. Thanks for the key, by the way. All right, let's try the Spears team. Let's give it a shot. I think I'm going to hate the Spears, but we'll, we'll give it our all and we'll see what happens. Oh my God, wait, that's value. Do we get the key? We're getting the key regardless. Thank you. No. We don't get a key. Okay, never mind. My mistake, team. What's in the trunk, though? What a weird way to park your car. Why are you not parking it on the... Okay, I mean... That's actually really valuable. A cold pack is actually really valuable. But as I was saying, who does that? Who parks their car like this? Why are you not parking in the driveway? Maybe you deserve to be in prison. Is that a survivor home? Oh my god, I thought it was a survivor home for a second. Now I want to find a survivor home team. I'm I'm hungry for a survivor home. Even though I said I wanted to go over to the... Uh, hold on, let me get my spear out. Even though I said I wanted to go over the fire station. Nice. Oh, alright. That's See, this is why we don't use spears. Why am I giving it a chance? Why do I... It's like a comedy. Why do I give things a chance, team? Spears don't work. I don't know how people have the the willpower to do the spears properly. Oh, don't get me put in the animation, please. You're scaring me, Marco. Do you play multiplayer? Very rarely I play multiplayer. And I only play on my community servers. So if you guys would like to join the community servers when it comes out, join my Discord, okay? The link is... I think in the description. At least it should be. Oh, that's big. Wait, thank you, Marco. Thank you very much for this, Marco. I appreciate that, Marco. Very good. Okay, they had garbage, but we'll take it. Spears are so difficult, though. I swear. That's tough. If you saw a katana zombie, but it was uh, behind a massive horde, how would you go for it? 
I mean, I, here's what I would ask. Do I need the katana at that point? Because I, I feel like I wouldn't need it. Because here's the thing. Katanas don't spawn until two months into the playthrough. You can't find a Zomboid with a katana until two months in. So by that point, I'm typically like level five, six with crowbar. I would try to go for it. Like, I, I would make an effort, but if it's, like, too much, like, I wouldn't risk my character's life for it, you know? I think the best way I would go for it, though, is... Oh, dear. Oh, thank God. Don't get up. Oh, dear lord. Okay, there we go. The best way I would go about it, personally, is I would get a car that, like, I just don't need... Ooh, generator. That's cool. I guess I can take that with me. Even though power should not be an issue. And I don't even know how to use the generator just yet, but that's neither here nor there. Um, the best way I would go about it, though, genuinely, get a car, hotwire it, do whatever you have to. Just let it be something that, like, is in pretty good shape. Just drive through them. Just don't waste your time. Be quick. Just drive through them. Get rid of the Zomboids, and you'll be fine. I think that's the best way to do it, personally. You could also use firearms, but that... Brings in the risk of, you know, more Zomboids. Is it worth it at that point? Depends. Depends on your playthrough. Can't you attach knives to the spear? We can. Does that make them more tolerable, though? I don't know. I kind of like that animation you get when you just jab them like that. That's kind of funny. Okay. Well, thank you for saving me from the spear lifestyle. I appreciate that. I'll also eat the carrot. That's a very nice treat. A calorific... Or a very low calorific treat. Good for my eyesight, too. The oven is still on? Oh, that's fine. Arson is okay, team. Out of all the crimes we've committed so far, loitering, definitely the worst. Uh, first degree, second degree, third degree murder, not too bad. Arson, like, who cares? Forest fires are good for the environment, okay? Let's let everything burn. Let's, uh... Hmm... This might be the end for Marco, I'm going to be honest. I don't know how Marco's going to fare with this. He has no axe skill. I need you to do something here. Oh, not the spear, Marco. The axe, please. Thank you. All right, we might be able to make a play here. But I need you to give it your all, Marco. All right, I'm not backing out of this fight. You either finish this. Oh, no, wait, Marco. Wait, no, you're fine. Never mind, you're fine. I thought you were super fatigued for a second. I looked at my Moodle and I was like, what the hell? We're good. We're okay. Here comes the L. We're fine. We're fine. There's no L's. Only success team. Can you smell it coming? What's that in the air right now? It smells like victory. I'm running for my life. Strategic defeat team. The Garden Fork? Okay, the Garden Fork does go crazy. That is, like, the only spear class weapon I will actually enjoy using, personally. But everything else, like, I don't know. I know you can get great, great results with a spear. I've seen the true power of the spear. If you get level 10 spears, it's game over for the dubious little creatures. They have no opportunity to, to counter that in any sort of way. Uh, it's just getting to that point. It's like, I'd rather do long blunt. You get the same results with a more durable weapon overall. That is, you know, it has more value as well. You know, a crowbar, if you have common sense, you can use it to pry off things. You can use it to uh, to build up maintenance skill as well by just bashing it into garage doors and things like that. With the spear, you just stab them. You just jab the doobies little creatures. Get, hit them with the little toothpick. That's about it. The axes, also pretty nice. I mean, you can chop up logs. Or excuse me, chop up trees with that. Get some logs made. You can break down barricades pretty easily. Like, there's options there with the with the axe as well, but I don't know. Remember what happened last time you used a spear? Oh, God. I mean, every time I pick up a spear, it seems that I just... Things go wrong. Uh, I'm a little concerned about fatigue, I have to be honest. Oh, Yeah. Yeah, that's probably for the best that we run over here. Can I catch one that hasn't converted yet? Oh my god. No! Okay, I don't know if I fight this. I don't know if it's worth fighting this, actually. Oh, dear. Alright. Well, at least we didn't do the animation where I do a 360 spin and 
go into the atmosphere or whatever. NASA take off. Can we... Once again, I am left perplexed by why this is occurring, to me specifically. Why me specifically? Oh, we're a little thirsty. Strong panic. Yeah, I'd be panicked too. I would also be panicked in this situation. Because it seems like you're not dealing any damage. <laughs> it's like the axe you have in your hand is like... Oh, never mind. Hold. Okay. I'll give you an opportunity. Change my mind, Mr. Marco. Hold the phone. Oh, I like that. I like that he goes over the fence for no reason. I love that. Keep it up, Marco. Good things come to those who are patient. You are not one of those people, though. <laughs> you are not at all one of those people. And no, sir. That's okay. You know what? This is how we died, team. How we died. That's how it happens sometimes, team. And that's okay. Well, you know, I think that's going to do it for us tonight on this stream, team. That's definitely going to do it for Marco. We are... Marco, you know, he may have committed the most heinous crime of all, loitering, but in the end, I, I cared about him a little bit. I came about him a little bit. Came in just time. Let's go. Let's go, Law. Appreciate that. Well, you came in towards the end, unfortunately. But regardless, I'm so sorry, team. I'm so sorry. Um, for any of you guys who are curious, I, again, I know we have people who aren't aware. We stream regularly on Twitch. If you guys are not aware, we have a Twitch account. The username is Big Bad Beaver, And I would love to see you guys come on over to the normal stream schedule. We are live Monday through Thursday, 9.30 p.m. Eastern. Mondays are variety nights. We stream whatever we want. It, it typically is uh, other survival games, maybe, or games that you guys recommend in my Discord server. So you're, you're more than welcome to go follow. But Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday is always Zomboids. We always do Zomboids on Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, unless it's a random occasion like what happened last Thursday where I get invited to play with the Twitch CEO. In which case, yeah, I'm going to play Among Us with the Twitch CEO. Sorry, that's going to happen. Um, but regardless, team, we have a lot of cool content on the way. We have a lot of cool stuff happening in the future. So uh, I would love to see you guys do that. Yes, we will do an ROK preview really, really quick. Um, let me pull that up, though. Let me go full screen. Let me go full screen. If you guys want to find the links to any of this, by the way, it's in the description of the stream. All that information. Very easy to uh, to come across. But let me show you guys are okay. For those who are not aware... Oh, thank you so much for the follow there. I can actually see that name. It's a Russian name, so I cannot read it. But thank you. You are my new favorite sub. I appreciate that. <laughs> um, for those of you guys who don't know, we have a mod in the works, actually. It is called Remnants of Kentucky. And I'm trying to see if I can pull up the video. I think I have I might not have it right now. But regardless, team, we have a mod in the works called Remnants of Kentucky, which is a multiplayer PvP game mode for Project Zomboid that turns the game into Escape from Tarkov. So if you go into my Discord, we have this channel right here, Game Servers. It's a whole custom thing we're doing. There's a custom map, custom safe house system. There's a shop. There's PvP. I mean, it's it's a whole thing. You try to get as much loot as possible. Extract back to your safe house in time. Don't get eaten alive by the dubious little creatures. Timer system, everything. Um, but if you would like to participate in the playtest, join the Remnants of Kentucky Discord server, which can be found in my Discord server. There's a game announcements channel. There's a Google form. Fill it out. The playtest is going to be this Friday on the 19th. So if you guys are interested, you're more than welcome to sign up for that. Sneak peek. Yes. Let me see if I can find that video. This was already showed off um, previously for anybody who's on Twitch. So you won't be kind of seeing anything there. I do have like a video though, I think. Yeah, I have. I have a video. We have a video team. 
Here's kind of like a, a trailer. This is an older build, by the way. This was made back, oh God, I don't even know when was, when was this made? Oh, this was made in September. Yeah, this is a much older build of the mod uh, that doesn't really show you everything. But still, uh, you guys can take a quick sneak peek on YouTube here, Tim. Here, let me make sure. There you go. This is how it works. Oh, you are seeing. Okay, perfect. That is the custom map right there, by the way. The full custom arena. You can decorate and customize your entire safe house, by the way. Any gear you bring back is completely yours to own. But yeah. At the time, we didn't even have, we didn't even announce the name. It was just ROK, like Rock, but Remus Kentucky now team. You all know. You know the, the truth now. But yeah, that is the mod team. I'm super excited to have it come out. I think we're aiming to have it fully released in February. And one of the cool things too about the mod is, um, I know some people uh, probably would like this mod, but maybe they don't want to play like specifically with me or with the, the whole Beaver community or whatever. Um, so you can self-host this and you can run lobbies uh, either with your individual friends or with your own communities, whatever you want to do. So that'll be available, I think, shortly after launch. I think we're going to have like a week where it's like only my server exists. I'm sorry, I'm being selfish. But yeah, that's going to be a thing, team. You'll be able to host your own remnants of Kentucky servers uh, and do whatever you want, basically. So that should be very, very fun. You should have a gamer in honor of share stream. Come on. What? I don't know about that one. I don't know about that one, team. But yeah, um, I hope you guys enjoyed the stream. The little, little bit of a surprise YouTube stream. We'll probably try to do more of these. We have a lot of long form content in the works as well in that regard. Um, Product Zomboid stuff specifically. More YouTube shorts. And of course, like I mentioned earlier, the normal weekly Twitch streams that hopefully you guys will, will be into. So thank you very much for joining me. Thank you so much as well to all those who uh, supported the stream with like a super chat or becoming a member. That is unreal. That is, that is incredibly kind of you guys uh, and it helps support the channel too. So uh, we'll, we'll try to be back soon. We'll, we'll try to be back soon, team. All right. Thank you. Salutes to all of you, and I'll see you guys next time. Hopefully on Monday for the, the Twitch stream. Twitch.tv slash Big Beaver. Here comes the brothers. Mm -hmm.